Hi guys, I'm Robin. This is Living Simply, the place where you can come for free workouts, free fitness tips, and free fitness challenges. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can be the first to know about any new videos. And today it is Fit Tip Thursday, the day of the week when I come on to YouTube and give you some tips to get a little bit healthier, a little bit fitter, and generally improve your life. So today's Fit Tip Thursday is all about how to choose a workout program. Now in this video, I'm going to show you four questions to ask yourself before you start a workout program. And this will help you to choose what workout program you want to do and how it's gonna fit into your life and make it really, really achievable for you to complete it. So let's jump right in. Um, the first question that you need to ask yourself before starting any workout program is what do you enjoy? Now, the reason that this is, I think the most important question is because if you do not enjoy what you're doing, you will stop doing it. and if you stop doing it, you will not see any benefits. So um, a lot of us, when it comes to health and fitness, we actually don't necessarily know what it is that we enjoy. Um, I think I'm quite lucky in that I grew up um, doing gymnastics and swimming and I do enjoy both of those things and I do continue to do them as an adult. Um, but also when I was in university, I discovered YouTube and YouTube fitness videos. And I really enjoy doing workouts in my house, in my pajamas, in whatever I want to wear, to the TV. There doesn't have to be anyone else there. Sometimes there is, sometimes I do them with friends or with my sisters, but most of the time it's just me and the TV screen. And I enjoy that. So I'm lucky, I think, because I found something that I really enjoy. Now, if you don't know yet what it is that you enjoy, what I would recommend is that you just literally try anything. If you see something and you think, oh yeah, that might be fun, give it a try. Because a lot of these places, they do like a free trial, like you can start, you can do your first session for free. Say it is Zumba or, um, I don't know, rock climbing or yoga or, you know, a lot of these places do either free or discounted trials. So you can go and see, okay, is this something I enjoy? Is this something I'd want to keep doing? So if you are the person who doesn't yet know what it is you like, when it comes to health and fitness and moving your body, please go ahead, explore, try, maybe even on YouTube, like it might be that you don't enjoy that general, like do this move, then do this move, then do this move, but you might love Zumba videos, or you might love, I don't know, hit videos or something else, yoga videos. So just try a whole variety of different things. And there is, I believe truly that there is something for everybody. There will be something that you can find that you just love, that you maybe don't always feel like you want to do, but like 70, 80% of the time, you just want to do that thing because it's something that you know you love. Okay. The second question that you need to ask yourself before you start a new workout program is how much time do you have? Now, the reason that I put this one in is because all of us have different time constraints on our life and all of these different activities take different amounts of time. So for example, um, before quarantine, I was a member of a gym near my house, but I do not have a lot of free time to leave my house, go work out at the gym and come back to my house because I have kids and I have a full-time job, I just really don't have that much time, you know, to, to do that. So every time I went to the gym, I was like, bam, 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 bam. And I never spent more than 20 minutes in the gym and I never took a break. I'd like do one muscle, do a different muscle, back to that muscle, back to that muscle for my reps so that I could like get through as much as possible in as short an amount of time as possible. And my workouts at home, they really follow the same kind of approach, which is like, how many muscles can I work out at once so that I can get this workout done quickly and then carry on and do everything else that I need to do with my day. Now that's just me because I do have quite a hectic lifestyle. I've got two young children at the moment who still need a lot of attention. I still have a full-time job. I also have a part-time job now as well. So um, lots and lots of stuff. If you are not in the same situation as me, if you do have more time, then you have actually even more luxury because you can go out and you can choose anything. Really the time constraint is not that important. So 
like I really love doing yoga and I would love to go to yoga classes regularly in the week but a lot of yoga classes are an hour minimum maybe an hour and a half long and it isn't like they have to be like that because that's when you get the full benefit of the practice but at this stage in my life that's not something that I can commit to so I haven't joined a subscription for a yoga class but if you do have that kind of time you know joining a class like that where you do spend an hour two hours three hours every session could be amazing for you and it's also an amazing way to make friends when you go physically go out and join a class question number three that you should ask yourself is what or where is the most convenient place for you to work out now again this ties into the first point in that if you're not doing something you enjoy, if you're doing something that you don't really have the time for, and if you're doing it in an inconvenient place, you're gonna end up not doing it. Then you're gonna end up seeing no benefits and you're literally back at square one. So if you are serious and you really want to start a new workout program, you really want to see some improvements in your life, you have to choose something that's super convenient for you. Now that is actually one of the big reasons why I started working out online because what is more convenient than my own living room or my own bedroom floor literally any time of day or night. I didn't even have to change my clothes. Most of the time I could just literally press play. Okay, off we go, we're working out. Like I didn't have to get any friends together. I didn't have to wait for the time when the class was on. It was the absolute most convenient thing that I could ever imagine for working out. If you're joining a gym, you might want to think about joining a gym that's like on your commute from work or right next to your house because then you're more likely to go because every time you place a barrier in front of you and exercise, it does make it less and less possible that you will actually end up doing that exercise. We, If you want to succeed, you're going to have to just take down those barriers and because the truth is that they are imaginary, they're in our heads. Like, if you want to work out more, you can work out more. You can get down and do 10 press-ups now, okay? Like, these excuses, we all, we all do them, I do them too, but we make them up, our brain makes them up because our brain, I think, inherently is, like, lazy. Um, but we need to use our will, our determination and our, like, self-control to say, okay, brain, I know that you want to lounge around, I know you just want to sit on the sofa and eat chocolate, but I... I don't feel good when I do that. So I'm gonna take out two minutes now, I'm gonna do some press-ups and some sit-ups and some jogging on the spot. And then I'm gonna sit down on the sofa and have a bit of chocolate because I know that that is what's better for me, okay? So it's so important that whatever you choose, it's enjoyable, you've got time for it, and it's super convenient for you. And then the last question that I've put on here for how to choose a workout program is, what are your fitness goals? Now, it's kind of controversial maybe that I put this as last and I have put it at last on purpose because I think that this question is not a priority when you're beginning to work out. If you're somebody who doesn't yet work out often, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, what your fitness goals are because just doing anything will bring you closer to any goal that you have. If you're currently doing nothing, doing anything at all in any type of fitness, health, whatever, will bring you closer to absolutely any goal you have, okay? As you get further and further into your fitness journey, you might start to have some specific goals. Maybe you want to lose a certain amount of weight. Maybe you want to lose inches, or maybe you want to gain inches. Maybe you want to be able to do a number of pull-ups or a number of press-ups or maybe you want to improve your flexibility. All of these things are things that you can do specific focus on. So then I would recommend that you choose your goal, one goal at a time. You go onto Google and you type how to grow my booty, how to get more flexible, how to slim my waist. You read at least six articles on Google from different, all different sources about how to do those things. Then you go onto YouTube, you look at some videos, how to slim my waist, how to grow my beauty. You do a couple of these videos. Once you're starting to do the, the movement, the exercise parts of it, 
then you will want to look at what you're eating, your nutrition. So then you can go back to Google, you can go back and go even deeper, like how to eat to grow my butt, what foods um, will give me calorific surplus, what foods will give me a calorific deficit. Um, and then oh, slowly over time, you'll be able to compile together all this information in your mind and you'll be able to create your own workout program that suits your own goals. But I do want to emphasize that that stage of the process is, it is a lot further on. And for a lot of people, you may never even need to go there. It's not even like, when I started working out, my primary focus was actually for my mental health. So to keep me feeling good, because I was in a pretty low place, I was feeling depressed. So it helped me to feel happy and energized. And then my second focus was, I know that the healthier I am now, the more that I'm going to enjoy my lifestyle for longer because my body's gonna be strong and it's gonna be able to carry me without discomfort. It's going to be able to reach old age, you know, where I can still do things, I can still move. So anyway, this is how I have gone about choosing what kind of programs I do, what kind of exercises I do and how I work out. So those are my tips for helping you to choose a workout program. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go into more detail specifically about question four, um, but I'm happy to go into more detail about how to hit specific fitness goals. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.